Ever since the human conception, we've always done it. So I think it will, it's as much as it would be amazing for it to go away and veganism to take over. I think it is very unrealistic. So, like, I feel like eating animals is the issue. It's how like industrialization has like made it so that they're like food packing and all that sort of thing. Okay, what do you guys think about animals? I love animals. Yeah, you love animals? Yeah. I love animals. Animals are great. Okay. And uh, what do you think about animal abuse? Um, <laughs> I don't think highly of it, per se. Okay. Would you say you're against it? Yes. Yeah, against animal abuse, correct. Okay, okay. And do you think you can be against animal abuse while supporting it? Um, I, 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 not necessarily. Yeah, no. I think you can be. Because if you like buy products that like have animal abuse and you're supporting it, but then you're like morally against it. Okay, I see. Yeah. So, so that's the kind of way, the reason why I'm standing here. I'm uh, asking people what do they think about the abuse that happens for uh, animal products, right? The yeah. products that we consume on a day-to-day -day basis. So, given that you said that you're against animal abuse, and given that there is abuse behind all of these products, what do you think you can do about it to align your actions with your morals? Stop buying those products. Yeah, be aware of what you buy. Yeah. Yeah, be aware of what you buy and stop buying those products. Yeah. Okay, so what do you guys think veganism is? Uh, just not eating animals. And yeah. products made by animals. Yeah. Right. But, yeah, so, so veganism is a moral principle. It's, a, it's, a, it's not a diet. It's a moral principle where we oppose the commodification of animals. That means we don't want them to be exploited, abused, or slaughtered on our behalf mm. for food, clothing, entertainment, or whatever other reasons. Uh, how do you feel about that definition? Does it seem like something you would want to be? I think I understand it. I don't know if that's something that I would myself be, but... Do you find the... Is, is it that you find animal exploitation and abuse okay, or why? Uh, no, I feel like, uh, I feel like it's part of, like, like how it's always been to, like, I feel like eating animals isn't the issue. It's how, like, industrialization has, like, made it so that they're, like, food packing and all that sort of thing. Yeah, we, we've just been, we've just been grown up in a way where we've eaten animals. This is, like, we're, we're not, all of a sudden, I don't think I just can stop. I've been doing this for uh, almost 17 years now, so it's, I, th I feel like it's morally incorrect, yes, but it's just the way it's always been. So it's, okay, as so much as I want to support, I love animals, I'm an animal guy through and through, but as much <laughs> as I want to, it's, it would be hard for me. Okay, let's, uh, l l let's take it uh, one step at a time, right? Uh, um you said we've been doing it for a long time. Does that, do you think, justify doing? Do you think that the duration of that or the repetition of an action makes it more moral? Like, say I kick somebody in the, in the balls. If yeah. I kick them, if I do this on a daily basis for years, does it at some point become moral? Um, no, I think, I think it's two different situations. I think it becomes harder to stop. Yeah. Uh, say, say it again? So I think it becomes harder to stop. It becomes harder to stop, but it still that doesn't become moral, right? right. Uh, it's yeah. it's absolutely not moral, but there's plenty of things that happen that are that are also not moral. That ever there's problems in everything, and I think just I feel like the more we try to resolve it, like the more people like your veganism definition, like the more people become vegan, like it will help. But I don't think it's something that will ever go away by any means, because it's just ever since the human conception, we've always done it. So I think. It will, it's as much as it would be amazing for it to go away and veganism to take over. I think it is very unrealistic. So okay, well let's. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to throw a hypothetical out there. Let's assume um, we're we're in a place where slavery is is still going on, right? Like yeah. let's actually say we're back in time and slavery still happens. If you were to oppose slavery, would you say there's nothing you can do about it, or would you say would you say oh I'll just have a slave in my house, or would you at least try to not participate in it yourself, since you find it wrong? No, I, w I would oppose it, of course, but I think slavery, when since the time slavery started and slavery ended, it there wasn't that. It, it was it was for a while, but it was a manageable it was a manageable topic at the time. Um, it, you could have easily stopped it by, you know, doing all these things. But we're talking we're talking, however many years humans have been alive, and 
you know, as much as I, I would love to become a vegan and do it, I feel like it's just unrealistic for myself at this time. And But you understand the par parallels and the Absolutely. idea that there's an injustice happening and that you're participating in. Absolutely. Why are you running away? <laughs> I'm not running away. We're, I think we, we gave a pretty good conversation and I think now we're going to go to the Reich Museum. Oh, you're going to go to the Reich Museum. Yeah. yeah. But the, you, the, let me just leave you with this before you go because it, it seems like it, it seems like you're, 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 thinking, uh, you're thinking in a way that, well, we've always done it. Uh, people have been doing it. It's a very much an appeal to futility, right? But in that sense, it sh we shouldn't all the actions that have been done in this world, all of them have been done for a long time until we stopped doing them, right? Yeah. Like women's didn't ha women didn't have rights for what? Yeah. Thousands of years. We could have said women have always been without rights. Why would all of a sudden should we grant them rights, right? So we need to stop doing things that we find, we ourselves find immoral. Mm -hmm. And in that sense, you say, well, it's never going to stop, but you participate in it three times per day. You make a choice. You can care about anything else you want in your life. You can live your life doing whatever you want. But when you need to choose what you eat, because that will happen, you can choose the compassionate one, not the one that's violent towards animals. No, of course. But I just think like I'm going to I want to eat something that like I'm going to enjoy. And I just think like life is so I, you I, only I mean, enjoy the sentient beings body. The body. No, I, I've beings. never said I, I never said that. It's just like I prefer to eat those things. And it's just like. Like, I'm just, like, life is, life is short. I'm going to just try to have, try to do it, do it. Like, I, I enjoy it. Could, could use your justification to rape anybody. Life is short. I'm just going to do it because I enjoy doing yeah, it. Yeah, but what you mean? You're, it's very extreme what you're saying, you know. And I, it's I, extreme yeah. to kill sentient beings for our own pleasure. You realize that, well, right? It's not our own pleasure. It's but, like nutrients. But we can get nutrients like, from but, plants. But we've it's, always been able to get nutrients from plants. It's like how the cycle of <laughs> being is. The issue isn't killing animals. It's, well, the, it's the way that, like, we've industrialized killing animals. So you say there is no issue. If I have a plant-based version here and an animal here, there is no issue if I choose to slash the throat of an animal and eat them when I have a readily available plant-based option? You say that isn't an issue? You say that's perfectly fine? I, I don't think that this is the scenario that you should be thinking about. But this is the scenario that you are every single day because every single day when you make this choice, you have a readily available option that doesn't there exploit or slaughter an animal. A, like the readily available option for everyone in the world to well, not... But it is to you. It doesn't matter for everybody in the world. It doesn't have to be for everybody in the world. It has to be for you. Why? Why does everybody in the world have to have it for you to do if it? Everybody made that ops, made the switch. Then they're current. There would. There's not like that's not how society currently is. But you, as an individual, do you understand that you also have a responsibility in the matter, right? So I see what you're saying, but like I also agree with my friend here, and so that as long as it gives you pleasure. Okay, so let me ask. You, like, well, how, what what else can we justify doing to animals as long as it gives us pleasure? I don't know. I don't. I don't understand the pleasure. Of what you're saying, but it's just like. Well, given well, we, we need we need food to survive, correct? Yeah, but let me let me let me let me explain this way because you keep coming back to this survival idea, right? Oh. But we we have two options, right? Let's say if we want nutrition, you can get nutrition from plants as well as taste, by the way, right? Mm -hmm. You can get taste and nutrition from plants, and then you can get nutrition from animals as well, like killing them. But you can also get taste from animals by killing them. So the sole differentiator for you isn't nutrition because if you had the same nutrition from plants, that means you choose it based on taste, right? And taste is a sensory it's pleasure. It's convenient to get the same nutrition from plants, though. The restaurant and right here. That we just say that it does not have the same plant-based. Oh, option. you can walk ten meters that way, and there's a plant-based version. And it's yeah, not, it's not the it, same. Yeah, what do you? It, it's not suck. the same at all. It doesn't suck. By the way, all the things that you what do you eat, yeah, eat that, raw? That, that is also an opinion too. That is also an opinion, of course. But it's, it's you add spices to meat. Also, and I'm not a particularly enjoy spices, but it it is all opinion. And you know, as much as I would love. As much as it's a great idea to, you know, promote this idea, I just feel like, you know, it's, it's going to be a hard issue to solve. And I, I wish. So you want to be part of the violence towards animals because it's a difficult I am. To I, solve? I, I, I will say I am a part of the violence towards animals. And you are, you, you know, are. Yeah. That's, just, that's just a part of life. And I think every single. That's not part of life. That's, that's a choice you make. It's not part of my life. That's the 90% of the world has chosen that. And, you know, that's just, that's just how it is. Does it make it okay just because everybody no, it does doesn't, it? It doesn't make it okay morally. You're absolutely right. But that's just how it is, unfortunately. So that's just. But why not align your actions with your morals I, and save some animals? Well, my actions aren't aligned with my morals clearly. And that's, and that's, you know what? that's that, how life is. But you know what? It, you call somebody who doesn't align their actions with their morals? What is that? What a is hypocrite. It? I'm a hypocrite then. Okay, Thank you so very then much. what is why don't you want to stop being a hypocrite? I well I just I am a hypocrite and I will stay a hypocrite the rest of my life most likely.
I, you're okay I, with that. I enjoy the nutrients and the taste and the pleasure I get from the meat I eat, and that's just how it is. That's just. But I if feel like I life, life, that's just how life is, and I feel like just. Well, okay, let me, life's not that. It's just not that deep. Like let's just, we've just been killing animals. For, life's not deep. Let's just enjoy are, life while we're. we're plants alive. are not sentient. But let me ask you this: If I was to take an animal and sexually abuse them, because okay. it brings me pleasure, okay. What would be the difference between that and you choosing to kill an animal for your own pleasure? Uh, I think I think killing animals for your own pleasure and eating them is very. It's much more socially accepted than say raping an animal, and I think everyone would consider you weird while I'm considered just another. It's just whatever. Yeah, but in my eyes, it's weird to uh, to kill an animal either, either way to kill an animal because you don't, when you don't need to, right? Yeah, I completely understand your point. We like, would you kill a dog? Would you do that to I a dog? I would not kill a dog, but I appreciate I appreciate the message you're spread spreading and i think you have a great message it's just and i don't care about that i care about the animals so I, let me ask you again what is the difference between a dog and a cow that says it's okay to kill one but not the other <laughs> uh, you're okay this is the last thing i'm going to say uh you're we're, we're killing the animals to eat we've always killed animals to eat that's just always how it's been we're not we're not killing animals. So why not kill dogs, dude? I'm because so I don't eat any dogs. Why? Again, that's because that's just thing. that's just preference. But I appreciate it. How do you know? You haven't tried dogs, right? So yeah, I, I don't. I don't eat it. Thank you very why? much. Because I ha I don't. I've never. I don't want to shake your hand because uh, I don't want to shake the hands of people who continue to exploit animals knowing. Good. Okay, I'm I appreciate it. It was a great I mean, social experiment. You're you're uh, you're a very great guy. I appreciate it. But if I'm a hypocrite, I'm a hypocrite. I'm sorry. Yeah, but Thank you can stop being a hypocrite by choosing to, to take plant-based options to not exploit animals. Okay, I'll, I'll look into it. Thank you, though. It's easy to do it, man. It is. It's all about the animals.